Holy Spirit pointed out to me is that what does marijuana and drinking, right, feeling the buzz, and drinking a little bit more than just feeling the buzz, like actually feeling drunk, what does that have in common with the actual gospel, right? The gospel promises you peace and joy, eternal life through Christ and Christ crucified, okay? What is the whole world looking for? The kingdom of God. Christ said the kingdom of God does not come by observation, nor does it come by eating and drinking and through external festivities, right? It comes from within. Okay, when so when people are drinking and smoking, what are they feeling? The kingdom of God. But it's the deceitful one. It's not the eternal one. It's a te temporary one. It is the temporary... I forgot how exactly Paul writes it. it or one of, one of the letters in the Bible. Uh, it says, The deceitful lusts of riches. Of the flesh. Right? It's, why does it say deceitful lust? Right? Deceitful... In, it, it, it gives you the illusion. Or it promises you uh, peace and joy. Because peace comes from knowing I am loved. When you when you are convicted internally inside of yourself through spirit that I am loved, peace enters your heart. Okay? Because peace shuts down all of these anxious thoughts, all of these what ifs, the past, the future. Because all your brain is trying to calculate is this one thing in your brain. Am I loved? This is the big question, guys. Especially to get out of loneliness, is to know the an to know the answer to that question. I'm going to tell you what the answer is. It is yes, but it takes wisdom, it takes knowledge to come to that conclusion. And the story of Christ, the gospel, spiritually enables the human consciousness to come to that realization. But anyways, so when people smoke. When people drink, right? What are they? What? What are they trying to do? They're trying to find a sense of peace, right? Dole out their external, dole out, you know, all the crazy thoughts that are going through their brain, so that they may have peace, quietness. You know, drink your sorrows away, sort of to say. But you need to understand that that is a pseudo type of what the actual gospel does this is how i broke free from all practically all my addictions not just uh like smoking and drinking and playing video games and just doing you know things that are not things that i was distracting myself from was realizing and meditating on the principles of principles of christ and christ says why do you spend your money on things that do not, the, the things that are not bread, and why do you buy things that do not satisfy you, right? This, people are trying to satisfy themselves in their external reality, not realizing that you're supposed to experience your external reality out of satisfaction. You're not supposed to be seeking satisfaction in your external reality. To do that is to be a slave to your external reality. It is to be living in the kingdom of darkness it is to be dead christ says life is in you you are the light of the world but a lot of people are seeking the light right in external objects and other people in like marijuana and drinking okay but all one one uh, affirmation or prayer that i use to destroy the stronghold of addiction is that uh, the kingdom of God is not in marijuana, Sylvan. The kingdom of God is not dr in drinking. It's not there. Because peace is not. Anything that brings you peace and joy, or a form, or a false form of peace and joy, right? something that's temporary, like addictions, controls your consciousness. It tells it, it right when you wake up, even though you don't consciously aware of it, 
your desire to find peace and joy your brain from the day that from the moment you wake up all the calculations are made this is how this is this is how my day is gonna go and eventually you'll end up you relapsing so in the in the mornings what you got to realize is tell yourself the kingdom of God which is peace and joy and righteousness is not in my addiction the kingdom of God is in my identity of being I am loved so through spiritual understanding you come to the realization that I am loved which brings peace right replacing the addiction right it supplants the addiction to maybe even video games maybe you guys find a lot of peace playing video games but video games don't pay the bills it doesn't cause you to be a loving human being it makes you angry rage and do and waste time you're you're losing you're losing out on the beautiful things that god created so you got to realize that you do not need addiction something to communicate to you or allow you to feel peace you can feel peace and joy merely through spirit through thought understanding the gospel and this is what on the channel i'm doing this is what i'm doing on the channel is helping people build up the kingdom of god within them where it is peace and joy it's a a it's a state of consciousness that you're able to shift into when you're going through you know hectic situations in your life or when the tribulations come right when the world christ says yes tribulations will come but don't worry i have overcome the world right because he who's in you is stronger than the world in other words the information or the solid foundation that you built within yourself based on the principles of christ they produce peace and joy inside of you this is the secret hiding place that christ is the the uh david is talking about to behold your glory god this is the only thing i desire that you hide me in the secret place of your uh secret place of i mean i forgot holies of holies or in the tabernacle where the vultures and the lions cannot see right the vultures the lions are are spiritual entities that try to attack your consciousness bring anxiousness fear and all these other negative things but that being said, remember the kingdom of God is inside of you. It's not in marijuana. It's not in any form of addiction. Yes, it gives you temporary relief, but it will never give you the peace that you're seeking for. But my buddies just pulled up and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.